I am Liz Wright. Welcome to Live Your Best Life. The only thing that matters now is living by the power of this wonderful new creation life. We're going to become an undefeatable force of radiating glory, and we are rising up strong now in this hour. Hi, family. Thank you for tuning in for today's extremely special episode of Live Your Best Life with me, of course, Liz Wright. And I want to start by saying happy, blessed new year. It's going to be an amazing year. And what Jesus has put in my heart for us today will help you to frame up your year in the way that will be a his intention for your life. It will put you into a place of strength and um, it's a reset really. It's a very simple and very profound key that will help you to just start the year off right, to reset yourself and to come into a place of speaking the truth and framing life up in a very powerful way as an extension of the heart and the brilliance of who Jesus is flooding to you, into your heart, and then through your life having massive impact. So just get comfortable if you can for like the next sort of 25, 30 minutes. If you're not driving, if you could just stop and listen, you know, or if you are listening, you know, driving or you're on the go, listen to it. And then if you can just soak in this word again afterwards, because I promise you, once you apply this word to your life, it's going to bring a complete shift in your experience of life. So I want to pray for you just as we get going. Holy Spirit, ooh, holy, and <laughs> okay, that happened quickly. Holy Spirit, thank you for my brother or my sister watching or listening to this right now. I thank you that you are bringing a reset. You are bringing a focus to their life that will transform their experience of you and have such an impact in their life, in their relationships, in their money, in their internal world, in their heart, in their interior life. And I thank you that you are bringing them forward victoriously, secure in your love, living from the place of truth, living from the strength of their union with you, re revitalized on the inside, reinvigorated and re-energized. Holy, whoa, holy, 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 washed afresh by your beautiful, powerful presence inside of them. Holy Spirit, thank you that today they experience the truth that will set them free. Oh, Holy Spirit, I keep feeling waves of Holy Spirit. Just receive it, just receive it. Open your heart wide, like it says in the, you know, Jesus said to the disciples, it says in the word, open your heart to me again and allow revelation light to flood in. So I encourage you just open your heart to Jesus again as I'm sharing and just listen to what he is saying to you. Fresh empowerment. Thank you, Jesus, for fresh empowerment flooding my brothers and my sisters watching and listening to this today. I thank you, Lord, that this truth will set them on course as they go into this amazing new year that you have made. We thank you that you are the Alpha and Omega. You are our creator. You are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You are our Redeemer. You are the one that wraps up human history in accordance with the counsel of your will. You are bringing everything into conformity with the counsel of your will in our lives and in the world at large. And even if we are living with chaos in our own individual world, as well as the chaos and the pain that's going on, the suffering that's going on in the world, you are the one who is the solution for every situation. And we choose as we begin this new year to trust you and to be in agreement with your perspective of reality, with your truth. We trust you, Jesus, as the one who has the answers to every situation that we face in life and that you want to be revealed. You want to be glorified. Who, Holy Spirit, wow, 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 wow. You want to be known as the one who heals, who is good, who is who cares, who is our deliverer. Wow, 
And we want to live according to your wisdom and ways. We want to live as we go forward into this new year in a place of intimacy with you that's beyond anything that we have experienced to this point. Jesus, we yearn and hunger and long for more of you, more of you, knowing who you are, knowing who you are, knowing you in the manner in which Jesus you want to be known. We want to be able to love you. We want to be able to minister to your heart. We want to live in truth continually. Wow. Wow, 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 really feeling Holy Spirit. Wow, he's releasing increased discernment to you. I just really felt that strongly in my spirit then. Jesus is increasing your capacity to discern correctly truth from error, good from evil, lies from deception. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's clearing your your spiritual eyes, so your capacity to know his heart and his truth, to be able to prophesy to others, revealing his heart intention for their life is he's clearing it. He said he's clearing where there's been like um, a mist over people's eyes. He's clearing your spiritual visibility so that you can see clearly and you can know him more completely, and you can rest in him, trusting him, because that discernment is also enabling you to see him more clearly as well as other situations that you're dealing with in your life. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's really speaking right now. I'm just going to stay in this flow. He said he wants to heal you. He wants you to know him even more intimately as your healer. So I thank you, Jesus, for the healing flow of your spirit moving right now within us. Thank you for your spirit inside of us. Who You are the solution. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you reside in each one of us now, that we are the temple of your spirit. So I agree right now for the healing that's needed. Wow, he's healing hearts. Wow, wow, and bodies. Wow, and lives, relationships. He's healing right now. If that's you, just receive. Open your heart to him again. Dare to trust him again. Just open your heart wide. Turn the affection and the attention of your heart right back, right now, onto Christ within you and receive. I'm really feeling him saying to just do that. Receive rest into the arms of his indwelling presence all over again. Let go, let go of the pressures and the cares of this world. Let go of the weight of your life. Let go of striving. Let go of unbelief. Let go of the concern over lack or torment or demonic ass assault, whatever you've been dealing with. He's saying just let go of the weight of it right now. Let go. If you've been striving and trying to deal with this in your own strength, you know, how we can so easily if you're feeling overwhelmed. He's saying, let go, let go of that. Let go of the despair. Let go of the hopelessness. Let go of the fear. Let go of the feelings of overwhelm. Release them to him. He wants to be your strength. Wow. 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 He is your strength. He wants you to experience him as your strength, as your all-sufficient strength. Wow, he, wow, holy, he's convincing your heart afresh right now. I can hear him speaking it into my spirit. He's convincing your heart afresh right now that you're not alone, that he is in you, he's for you, he's enveloping you in his presence. He has set and stationed his angels to guard your life, to lock garrison around you. You are safe. You are safe. You are under his protective care. He is within you. The king is within you and he's surrounding you. Holy, the greater one is within you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. He wants you to know him and experience him as your God of provision. Wow, I can see resources flowing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for that provision that comes from you. There's no lack in your kingdom. 
Thank you for the capacity again in each one of us to believe you where we are weak in the area of trusting you for finances. I thank you, Lord, for this fresh gift of faith igniting right now so that we can rest in the goodness of you as our Jehovah Jireh, our God who provides for all of our needs out of your riches in glory, whether they are the needs of our heart, the needs of our body, the needs of our mind or emotions or the the needs of breakthrough in our relationships, the need for provision, the practical care. Wow. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He's lifting off, really, he's lifting off the weight, the lifting off the weight where you've been striving, where you felt oppressed, where you've been doing stuff, life in your own strength. He's lifting the weight, the burden. He's resetting you for the new year. And I promise I will go into the revelation that he gave me in a minute, but I'm just going to stay flowing with him while his spirit's moving. It's more important that you hear him right now, right now. So I thank you. I am believing with you for the miracles that you need today to manifest in your life because he's there for you, right? He's there for me. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you for a display of your glory for my brother or sister. Oh, The other thing that Holy Spirit's just said to me is he's convincing you deeper than you've known. He's convincing you of his love. He wants your heart freshly enriched and invigorated, healed and filled with hope as your heart comes alive in the experience of his care, of his love for you. He is for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Wow, he is for you. Wow, he's in you. He's with you. Wow, he's with you always to the very end of the age. He's with you always to the very end of the age. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, and on into forever. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. You are so good. He wants your heart completely satisfied by and undergirded by the experience of his love of how loved you are. You are his child. You are his image, right? It says in Genesis that we, he created us male and female in his image. You have the very DNA of God, so to speak, by his spirit inside of you. You are the living image of God, predestined to reveal Jesus in this realm. Holy Spirit, wow, and you will regardless of what you do in life, right? Regardless of what we do in life, who we are is image bearers. Our destiny, our primary purpose is to know him and love him and reveal him because his spirit's inside of us as we engage into our union with him. Holy, holy, like it says in the word, as we live in union with him, fruitfulness will stream from our life. In other words, the manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit, the nature of God, will stream from our life. And he wants that for you this year. He wants it for you all the time. And as we're going forward day by day by day, that is his intention for you, that your life would stream with fruitfulness, that you would discern Holy Spirit, seeing as he sees, knowing as he knows, seeing every situation you face, every situation we face together in this world right now, every relationship, every person you will see as he sees. They will sit in the context of divine perspective because his spirit's in you. You will have one mind, one heart. Whew, with the king. We're just tuning in, right? We're tuning into this reality. And he wants to explode the experience of himself wholly and the union that you now have with him. He wants to to explode it in your experience this year. He wants to convince you of his love and he's doing it. He's doing it. So there's no trace of insecurity in your life, in the body of Christ life, that we're all coming forth, saturated in his love, liberated by his love, liberated by the truth, convinced of the reality that we are new creation people who alive on planet earth, 
in this body, in this earth suit for such a time as this. Wow, connecting into the presence of God, living in the union that we now have with him, in our experiential awareness beyond anything we've known before, so that we're moving forward, rising, rising in strength, rising in Christ's stature, holy fo- that, that's forming in us as we're awakening to the truth of who we are with no insecurity remaining inside of us, Holy Spirit. Whew. Wow. He's bringing you forth as love. Love. As a, whew, wow, wow, gosh, that's so powerful. I can feel his presence so strongly. He's bringing you forth as love because he is love. Wow. As you lean into the one who is truth on the inside, trusting him as your strength, choosing to trust him as your strength. He, Holy Spirit's giving us supernatural faith. Anyway, he has done, right? So in these situation by situation by situation that you're dealing with, as you're choosing to lean into him, leaning into his heart's goodness, his love for you, wow, you will become this year more and more stable, secure, rooted, grounded and established in the experience of God's love for you, of Jesus's passionate, unrelenting, unlimited, all-powerful, transformational love for you. Wow, 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 you will increasingly see as he sees, operating in supernatural discernment, operating in the ways of wisdom, your heart convinced of wisdom, that the ways of his heart is the only way to live. It is new creation life. It's the privilege that we have now to be able to to live in truth. Wow. To live secure in his love. To see as he sees. Wow. To see as he sees. To sit temporal circumstances in the context of divine perspective. Powerful divine perspective. Wow. And when we have divine perspective, everything in the temporal, in the natural realm has to yield, has to yield to the supremacy of his authority as he gives you divine perspective and you see, you discern truth from error, right? Lies, deception. You can see clearly what is not coming from his heart. And you come in agreement with his truth and everything begins to change. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He wants you healed, reinvigorated, revitalized, supernatural energy, divine health. Thank you, Jesus. Freedom from demonic oppression, freedom from fear, where those some of us have been driven by fear in this last season. Jesus has not given us a spirit of fear, right? But of a spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. You are government here. We are government here. This is our watch. And he is rising as your core strength, putting you in position, enabling you to walk powerfully, radiating Jesus, him being the solution. Wow. Wow. Him being the solution. Ooh, holy to every situation you face, him being the solution, being the love you need, being the patience you need, being the patient, the supernatural patience, supernatural peace, wow. enabling you to live on the inside in rest. I pray for that right now that I agree with the Lord that you will experience that supernatural rest that right now. Right this moment, feel his presence. So let's just stay here for a moment. Right now, if you've been feeling overwhelmed, striving, fear, pressure, that you'll go into deep rest. That the one, the Prince of Peace, who provides for us that supernatural capacity to just relax on the inside and go still and go quiet and lean into his indwelling presence right now that you'll experience him holy. Wow. 
wow, holy, wow, wow. Just keep receiving, keep receiving with your, the eyes of your heart locked onto the presence of Jesus inside of you. Wow, wow. To sink, let go of the pressure, sink into him, sinking into his presence. Don't struggle, let go, let go. Let that divine exchange happen. Your capacity exchanged for his capacity to believe, to see, to discern, to be healed, to trust him for provision, to have the wisdom in impossibly difficult situations, to be patient and kind, to see people rightly, to not react when others are difficult in your life but to know their value irrespective of how they're behaving temporarily and showing up in the world, that everything in you would be undergirded with divine perspective and his presence flowing through you as your strength. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. You are so good. You are so good, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I want to read you a scripture. Just keep, who keep listening to him listening to him as I speak, listening to the intention of his heart behind the words that I speak from the scriptures. What does he want you to be convinced of about him as I'm reading? So Job twenty two twenty one. I was reading a book and this scripture was in the book and it just jumped out at me. And of course, there are many scriptures that are around this same subject, which is the subject of agreement. But this particular scripture just jumped out at me. So just listen to this. Job twenty two twenty one says, agree with God and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. And what I wanted to draw out of this for you today, for you to take forward into this new year, is the Greek meaning translated into the English as the word agree. So forgive my pronunciation, I'm not fluent in Greek, but in the Greek it is the word symphonio, which of course is where we get our English word symphony. So when you look at the the root meaning of the language here, what it actually means is to harmonize. So think about it in the context of Jesus and the truth of God. So what it actually is saying here is that agreement is two hearts harmonizing. So to agree with Jesus through our relationship with him by faith, we effectively become one sound. The sound of Jesus' beautiful, powerful life then begins to pour into us and through us, soothing our internal world and then through us, soothing, comforting, restoring, freeing the atmosphere and hearts in our external world. His transforming life touches everything we agree with him for. Agreement releases divine flow. Agreement releases divine flow. So as we agree with the Lord, as we agree with his truth, with his perspective, simply as a choice, we are harmonizing with him. Isn't that amazing? We synchronize, we become one heart, one mind one spirit, one flow of God, one, one expression of Jesus. To whatever it is we're dealing with, whether it's regarding our own identity, whether it's regarding other people and how that relationship may be problematic or we want something for them, you know, or the situation that we're dealing with that's seemingly impossible, as we come in agreement with him, we harmonize we harmonize, we synchronize, we become one sound. And as I was looking at this, Holy Spirit reminded me of an, of an encounter that I had quite a while ago now. 
Some of you may have heard me sharing this before, but he just quickened it back to me. And so this was another layer of understanding. And the encounter was for us all corporately. It was, he was showing me something of what he's doing in the bride's life. And in the encounter, I was taken up into heaven during a time of worship and I was taken in front of Jesus. And the first thing that happened was he wrapped me up like an Egyptian mummy in grave clothes from my feet to my head. And they were representative of the grave clothes that Jesus would have been wrapped in when he was taken down from the cross. They were brown and they were stained and they looked old. And then as soon as he finished wrapping me up, he pulled the the bandages. They looked like bandages that had been soaked in spice. And he, as he pulled, I began to spin round and round and round and round supernaturally fast. And I could see the spirit of life, the spirit of God just moving through me as light. Whew, holy spirit. And then the band I stopped spinning. The bandages were completely off me. And Jesus leant forwards and he touched my heart with his finger. And he, whew, holy spirit, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Feel his presence. He said to me, I give you my song, the sound of my life. And then he said, It's the third day. And when I was looking at this scripture, and then I was starting to look at scriptures around the subject of agreement, as we come in agreement with God, the power of agreement, the power of harmonizing with God. He began to show me the profound privilege that we each have now, this capacity to be able to believe the divine supernatural gift of grace, the grace of the the faith of Jesus, uh, the grace that's enabling supernatural faith, I should say, to activate inside each one of us, enabling us to believe him. That is a profound grace, a supernatural ability that is part of new creation life. Holy, so we can believe him. Wow. And I could feel that he was enabling us to be able to see this privilege and step out from intermittent living to become ones that simply choose to believe him, choose to come in agreement with his truth because we know that it's the truth. We know that he is the way and the truth and the life. And to simplify back into this, and I tell you, I've done this so many times, but it's the most incredible experience when you have a moment, say, for example, you're triggering and you're reacting all over the place emotionally to somebody behaving in a way that's problematic for you, that's really dialing you up, you know, emotionally. And so in the moment where instead of reacting to the person, in self some form of self-preservation, instead of reacting, our heart's attention immediately turns to Jesus and we come in agreement. So, for example, if it's somebody that's difficult, a scripture that I would use is Genesis, you know, that we are, that God created male and female in his image, that we're his image bearers, that we're his, his offspring, right? We're his children. And the value of that for every one of us. And so no matter how people are showing up in the world, no matter how difficult situations are, that that's the truth. And so instead of reacting, what I found over time is that Holy Spirit just slows our reaction time down until eventually you don't choose anymore. You just become, you just manifest Jesus in that situation. So we're the difficult person, I mean, do it right now. Just if you're facing a really difficult relationship dynamic with somebody, or your heart is hurting, or you're jealous, or you're insecure, you know, it might be emotions in you just reacting to somebody else and they may not even know. So if it's about your own heart or if it's you in response to an actual physical relationship dynamic that you're dealing with, I encourage you right now, just bring the person to Jesus. He's within you, right? So just Turn your attention inwards, release the person to him. That you know that in your own capacity, you don't have capacity to resolve, but the king who lives inside of you does. And so you just release the person to Jesus right now. Thank you, Jesus. I'll agree with you as you're doing it. Jesus, thank you. 
wow, for your beautiful, beautiful, powerful presence inside of me right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I come in agreement with your truth. I just say this to the Lord regarding the person that you're handing over to him right now. I thank you, Jesus, that they have ultimate value. No matter how I'm feeling, I bless them right now with the freedom, Jesus, coming from you to be able to understand their value as one made in your image. They are an image bearer. I thank you, Jesus, for your love pouring in to their heart and setting them free in the very area that is causing them to operate in so much pain. Wow, 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 wow. I'm feeling the anointing right now of the presence of Jesus. He's actually doing this as we're coming in agreement. The person that you've handed to him, the person that's in front of you right now in your heart, he's dealing with, he's dealing with this situation. He's bringing freedom as you have chosen to harmonize with his truth, to harmonize with his heart. His spirit is moving, releasing life into that person, releasing freedom, releasing deliverance, whatever is needed. You have chosen the ways of love. You've harmonized. You've come in agreement with the truth and it's releasing one heart, one mind, one spirit. It's releasing the person of Jesus to that situation, to that other person's heart right now. So thank you, Jesus, that we bless them. We bless them with freedom. We bless them with the ability to deeply and completely know you and know their value and know how loved they are. Know that you are there for them as the one who wants to give them healing, them discernment, them the capacity to trust you all the time with every situation, them with the healing that they need with divine perspective in which to set all of temporal circumstances. Everything, Jesus, that you have just spoken and promised to me, to us, I thank you that you now release all of that truth, all of that experience to the one that I'm bringing before you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. 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 And I thank you now as we have released them I thank you, Jesus, for your love cascading into my brother or sister and restoring their heart. Where there's been any insecurity or jealousy or low self-esteem or fear-driven self-preservation, whatever the wounding, whatever the cause of this relationship breakdown, the reaction to it or response because of it, for all of that now completely healed, comforted, dissolved by your love that they are ones that will now manifest even more completely the beauty of who you are. Wow. Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you. There's just a few scriptures I'm going to speak into your spirit as strengthening truth as we've co- we conclude our time together today. Just want to read to you from John from Philippians and from Romans. These are powerful, powerful scriptures. If you remain in me, this is Jesus speaking, obviously, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you desire and it will be done for you. So as you remain consciously aware that Jesus is in you, so you're living that abiding life, of course he's in you all the time, right? But we just zone in and out of being aware of that. So as you are tuning back in to the truth that Christ is now inside of you and his word remains in you. Wow, which is what we're doing as we come in agreement, we harmonize with the truth, we believe him out of our relationship with him. By the grace of Holy Spirit, we believe him. As we're in that place, Jesus promises that whatever you desire, it will be done for you. is that amazing? And then Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Wow. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Nothing is impossible, right? For those of us who believe, because it's Christ in us flooding through us to deal with the impossibility. 
And then Romans 15, 5 in finishing, may the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony, such harmony, agreement in English, with one another in accord with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for my brothers and sisters watching and listening to this right now as we go forward into this amazing new year that they are going to live like this. They are going to find themselves living more and more consistently in harmony, in agreement with your truth all the time as the first choice they make in every situation that they lean into you into the one who is within them and they lean into the truth of what you say and have divine perspective and have divine empowerment for their life who that you would flood them and flood them and flood them until they manifest the glory of who you are so comprehensively that others will feel you and see you and experience you and they will come alive just by being in our presence, in their presence. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Happy, happy, blessed, prosperous, love-filled, encounter-filled new year. It's going to be amazing. Keep framing it up with the truth, meaning keep coming in agreement with the truth. Stay in harmony and you are going to see your life seriously change this year. Amen. Love you guys and I will see you next week. God bless. Two years ago, Jesus spoke to me and he said, if I would create a space for him, he would come. And so I did. And what he has done in the last two years is absolutely incredible. He birthed what is now known as the International Mentoring Community. Every week, myself, along with other international guest speakers, come on live and they pour in God's love and revelation straight from their heart, from their own relationship with Jesus into you. There is an activation anointing on my life. And so every single week, as we come together at the feet of Jesus, I have an environment in which I can impart this anointing onto you. This is a supernatural mentoring community and I do not want anyone to miss out. He is healing us. He's setting us free. He never ever misses a week with us. His presence is so strong among us. He wants to do the same for you. He wants to heal you. He wants to set you free. He wants to take you into deeper experiences with him than you thought was even possible. We are gathering at the feet of Jesus by his personal invitation. So I want to personally invite you now to come and join us and sit at his feet with us.